This is the Southern Conference on ESPN. Welcome to Asheville, North Carolina. It is the Southern Conference Men's Basketball Championship game of the tournament as the top seed Sanford Bulldogs take on the seventh seed, the Buccaneers of ETSU. For to the home white. Opening tap, and here we go. Championship Monday here in the Southern Conference as Sanford has the opening possession of the game. Again, 28 wins this year, a program record, coming off a seven-point win against the defending champions last night in Furman. Trying to make the big dance here for the first time since the year 2000. Graziani puts up the first shot of the game, and the rebound here by Kamari Peterson for ETSU. Even on misses, Sanford's going to get after you full court. They want to get the game hot early and often. High possession game is where they're at their best. ETSU starting five. Peterson, Asamoah, Boyd, Seymour, and Parker. Keep an eye on Ebi Asamoah. Great three-point shot. Man this year. There's Karan Boyd inside. He puts in the game's first two. And the Buccaneers strike first. Yeah, Boyd is the difference for them, especially at the defensive end. Not a great shooter, but boy, he can come up with offensive rebounds. And Jermaine Marshall puts in a two for Sanford. You see... Go inside to Marshall. Scored the first two of the game for Sanford. Inside pass to Achor. Score the basket. And the foul. Achor, Achor. His first two and a chance for three for this season. And he completes the three-point play. In the league. Asamoa rims out that three. Offensive rebound. Peterson blocked away. Ricochets around into the hands of Jones. Here's Campbell in rhythm of three. Come on. Campbell is a little bit of an X-factor for this team. Really, really good shooter. 46% this year behind the arc. A steal and a foul. Steal by Sanford. Foul. 66% free throw shooter of the basketball team, but they've got to close it out in what inbounds play. And he gets the steal. Ball ricochets around into the hands of Boyd. And he throws it up the floor to Parker and got across the timeline. And a steal by a chore, racing down the floor, all the way for the jam! And a timeout. I've done the Sanford campus. And more havoc and chaos by this pressing defense by Sanford. Peterson into the lane, banks it in. Rebound run down by Alan Struthers. Here's ETSU. Trying to get some rhythm going offensively. Off balance shot, thanks in by Peterson. He's hit his last two shots off the glass. High level game, so you want to watch him, but he's really the, the go to point guard for these guys. Inbound to a chore, lays it in. He has Sanford. A chore inside. Goes off the rim of the shot by underneath, and the rebound. By ETSU. Marshall wanted a foul, but they're going to let him play through it, rightfully so. Asamoah hits a three. Struthers on the baseline, finds Peterson open three. No, a rebound on the weak side offensively by Hughes, and the shot clock reset to 20. Hughes has given them good minutes in this tournament. Peterson. The tip in is good by DJ Hughes. Way off the mark, and it's taken away on the rebound by Tyler Rice, number three, who just checked into the game for East Tennessee State. Asamoa, a three for the record. No, but he got fouled. He'll head to the line and shoot free. I think this season more than any other. And the, first. And the second one is since 1998. That is 26 straight years. They've tied the game at 13. A.J. Stick McCray in the game, and inside, and he banks it in. Peterson has done a nice job here recently, too, beating pressure. Asamoah hits the shot, and he's fouled in a chance for a three-point play. He has seven points in the game, and he's tied the game up at 15 to beat. And the free throw is good. He had since 2-0 to start the game. Yeah, they've kind of put... The Bulldogs on their heels just a little bit. A chore inside, shot rejected by Boyd. And I think they called a foul. It's so loud in here, you can't hear the whistle. At 28 points, 14 rebounds last night in the win against the first tips with NBA countdown at 7 Eastern. Four games in four days and win the SoCon title since Clemson accomplished defeat 
85 years ago, back in 1939. Peterson's three. Good! He gives a little look over to that Samford bench. He's dialed in as well. As I said, he's been handling the pressure well lately, but boy, any three-pointers from him is extra. Here's Hicks in the lane. And a jump ball. They say a foul. No, it's a foul on Garrett Hicks at the line, 77 fouls. He'll take a break. We might see him towards the end of the first half at ETSU only by three, and then winning over ETSU at home in February by 16. Marshall backs in on Boyd. And a foul called again. It's on ETSU, and it's on Karan Boyd again, and that's it. One and one. And he missed it. Hughes, and he misses the shot. It's controlled by a chore. Here comes Sanford, a chance to take the lead on this trip. Holloway inside the chore, score on the basket, and a foul. And a chance for a three-point play at the line. Basketball, until about three years ago. Sanford's defense, not only full court, as much as we talk about, they're good in the half court when they need to. Parker goes left hand and banks it in. That's... Hicks into the lane, had the ball knocked away. Out of bounds off of ETSU, stays with Sanford when we come back. Time out of the court, 11.20 to go in the championship game of the first. Brooke Savage knows what success looks like in the Southern Cop. Savage knows what it takes, and he does. He teaches. Here comes ETSU. Entire take the lead on this trip. Rice, that's a three. And it's gone. Tyler Rice, his first points of the game, the trance up a three, and the rebound by Allen Spock for Sanford. Jones lobs it inside to Marshall, puts it up, and puts it in. Nice pass, great catch and finish. Threw it only where Jermaine Hatchett Jones has confidence in Marshall. Sanford back in the lead by one. ETSU trying to get back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2020. But it won this event as Asamoah got fouled. It won this event in 2020. You've got to surrender and just try to put your hand up in his face. Not try to of being a second weekend NCAA tournament team. The last six years in a row. Graziani with seven on the shot clock. Foul line jumper, no. Rebound by Achor. Puts it up and puts it in. Well, you see what he did there after he corralled the rebound. He put a little deal by Sanford. Turnover on ETSU, number seven in the game. Achor dribbling hard into the lane, and he's fouled on the floor. Fouled by Parker of ETSU, and that's his first. That's the kind of run. Well, think about this. You know, he's averaging. So one more shot here coming up for a chore, a chore, and he's got it on. Seymour on the baseline, goes to the fadeaway, and it goes in. And ETSU down one can take the lead on this trip. First time we've seen zone out of Samford. Yeah, how do you attack it? Well, they, they're, they're, it's a 2-3. They went 1-3-1 one, one against Furman and held the Paladins scoreless last five minutes of the first half. Seymour got fouled. He wants to play him, so they couldn't get into him in the non-conference. They couldn't. Program this year, 28 wins, most in program history. You see the ranks in the top 10 in a lot of categories this year, averaging 86.3 points. Game, fifth in the nation, first in the league. A well-oiled machine. Is this Sanford a foul on DJ Hughes? Game, and really, when you look at the stats now, it's drawn five fouls here tonight, getting a lot of attention defensively from ETN. He would set a new time, new all-time record in that category. Did not go time. And here's Sanford in the lead by two. They go inside to Marshall. It in. Yeah, great basketball. It went to a the And as his defender, Moa, tried to front him, he told Shore to throw it to the wing so he could get the proper pass. This for the Bulldogs. Slam by Jaden Parker. Terrific play, but you can't celebrate after a good offensive play when you're playing these Bulldogs. Come on, back at you. Marshall responds to the three of the game. It's a good. 
so many different forms. It's not just your skill level. Tough fadeaway shot. And Strzok got the rebound. And a couple of 66% free throw shooter. The first half of the one and one is good for Newport and Virginia. One of the all time leading scorers in division. Since 2000, the program has only gone to the NCAA tournament twice. Back to back years, 99 and 2000. And if it wins tonight, it'll be back for the first time in almost a quarter century. Yeah, it, it, the Bucks, you're exactly right. Well, here's Holloway at the line, and the first one, his senior year average 11 points and three assists per game, and he missed both. Just in defense, has been solid, though. The Bob inside the chore, ball knocked around, taken away by Seymour, reach and foul in transition. It's on Johnson, and that's his first foul of the game. Two shots coming on the other way. Jim Rat, his hard work, he says, is translated to last year. Desmond Oliver and stuck around down within working distance. Five to shoot, Parker against a chore. Tough shot blocked, taken by Marshall, and he's fouled by the box. Fouled by Parker, and that's his second down of the game. Foul trouble against Furman yesterday. First, this is competitive as anybody. Spots, whatever your press offense is. Hicks missing from three, rebound Rice for ETSU. ETSU can tie or take the lead on this trip. Here's Rice in the lane, no, put back, missed by Boyd. He got it back, got fouled in the second try. Changed everything. First free throw is it? Yeah, it was. We said it. You can't overstate it. They were up. They were down 20. Connected defense by the Bucks has been solid. If they don't foul, they've generally been pretty productive. Allen Spike in the lane, left it short. Rebound Seymour, and an over the back foul. Oh. You start seeing some really juicy matchups. Knight got the five seed for Wake Forest. He's done a terrific job. Graziani's hands, and he'll come back out and reset the offense on the point. Stick McCray hits a three. Hey, Jay, Stick McCray here in the SoCon tournament this year. Number one seed has won this tournament six years in a row. A chore, no, but he got fouled. And he'll head to the line and shoot two. Rounds on that Braden Illick, who yeah. just checked into the game for the box, his first. Back. As the head coach of this ETSU program, as of the program back where it was when he was there with Coach Forbes back in the day. Other conference winner gets a date in the big dance later this month. Zone again. That's where you want to attack, right at the high post. Illick hits a two. Instant offense off the bench for Braden Illick. He averages two points a game, and he got those two right there. Miss Sanford in the lead by two with the ball. Shot clock ticking down, it's now at 10. Trying to free a chore, a chore, I think inside, one on one. Five to shoot, Jones leans inside, and he lost the ball. Nope, it's out of bounds off of ETSU. One second to go on the shot clock. We find Johnson, catch and shoot, three at the buzzer, way short. Shot clock violation, turnover number 13 on ETSU. Lapses. Here's Rice. He doesn't realize how much time's on the clock. Now he does. He sprints up the floor. One second to go. Half court heave is way short. And that's the end of the first half here in Asheville. We've had seven ties. We've had seven lead changes. And at the break, Team also got honors this year. Yeah, midway through the conference play, he was in the discussion for player of the year. Ultimately, Vontarius Woolbright at Western Carolina won it deservingly. Eight boards and three steals. First free throw is good. He has 12 points of the game. Almost the entire second half to go. You see the foul trouble. Peterson missing in the lane. Rebound by Sanford. Here's Ryland Jones. That's the thing with Power 5 teams. They want to play in football one non-conference game, but they won't come to your place in a basketball situation. Hey, they won't even let you come to their place. Unless it's a guarantee. Scoop shot off the glass and in. Here's Peterson back in the game. Peterson got two fouls early in the first half. A lot of guys in foul trouble in this game for ETSU. And the record is there for Ebiasa. Thankfully, that's only his second. Jones lays it in. Ryland Jones, the SoCon newcomer of the year, his first two.
ETSU inbounding. Peterson finds Boyd. Back to Peterson. Oh, he thought about the three. Goes inside and banks in a two. They've just not been good on those closeouts. Catch and shoot three by Campbell is good. They go inside to Boyd, and he lost it, got it back. Eight to shoot, Seymour. And that ball taken away by Sanford. Turnover on ETSU. In rhythm of three by Campbell again. Good again! He bounded the team 52 to 41 as well, and somehow got the win after only shooting 30% of the game. Shot missed by Sanford, and the rebound by ETSU. Here's Struthers in the game with four fouls. Floats up a shot, and it goes in. Jones thought about the three, goes inside to Allen Spock. Works against Boyd, in the lane, leans inside, banks it in. Good looking move, good looking freshman. 11 Bulldogs have played. Boyd, double team, puts it up and got it. Yeah, you can't let him get in that close. They whip it inside to a chore. Inside against Seymour, and he lays it in. 21 points for a chore, a chore. 28 last night, 21 so far tonight. Here comes the pressure again by Sanford. And ETSU breaks it. No problem this time. Here's Peterson. Surrounded. Rice, a three. Got it! A much... I try to go back inside to Marshall. Asamoa. Jones in traffic in the lane. Puts it in. We're going to stay in the zone. If you're ETSU, you need to screen it, move it side to side, and look at the high post. Asamoah puts it up. Seeing on the floor inside of Hughes. Layout, no. And the rebound by Staten McRae for Sanford. Bodies flying. A chore. Really hit his hip coming down there. All alone is Marshall and lays it in. Shot clock inside of 10, Peterson, one on one against Johnson. A nice little juke move in the lane, five to shoot inside Hughes. He got clobbered on the shot. He's fouled, he'll go to the line and shoot two. Fouls on, on the arm. Boy, common foul, so Bucky McMillan got the pick. The shooter. Up down the floor and how he reacts as a rim protector around the basket. Peterson goes down the baseline, reverse, layup is good! With the line shot yesterday. Down to a two, making a four-point game here. Sanford in the lead, Marshall drives inside, score in the basket, and a foul! And a hit of the line with the free One and one. I make a correction, it's a three-point play opportunity, and he puts it in. Hit the side of the backboard, taken away by Seymour for ETSU. Seymour missed a jam attempt earlier in the previous possession, gets it back outside of Peterson. Peterson, mid-range jumper, yes! Yeah, that's where he is. Here comes the press again by Sanford. Peterson, Boyd. And back to Peterson, trying to get across the timeline, he does. Goes into the lane, hangs in the air, banks it in! Into the big dance for the first time in 24 years. Cool. Seymour in the lane. But the attack, that was the first time we've seen the 1-3-1 out of the Bulldogs. As we said, it was so good against Furman yesterday. Marshall at the top. A chore. Blocking foul called on Seymour, and a chore. Draws the foul on Seymour, that's his third foul of the game. Guys in foul trouble, 6.43 to go. In the game, it's sure to go in the game. Sanford this year, 28 and 0, when leading. Peterson and Struthers, really the two best, at least tonight, against this pressure. They just can't pick their dribble up, because in an essence, when you do, you're guarding yourself along with those Bulldog defenders. Asamoah back in the game, goes to the fadeaway, got it! Boy, he is showing us his whole toolkit here this weekend. Have a weekend, Mr. Asamoa. One point game, ball deflected. Jones got it back, and he banks it in. Does he get it? Out of Seymour, four to shoot. Seymour had the ball knocked away, got it back, puts it up with the shot clock buzzer, blocked in. 
that's, as they say, play on. No shot clock violation. Here comes Sanford in the lead by three. They go inside to a chore. Had the ball stripped away, and they pull a foul on the Buccaneers. It's on Peterson. Go in transition. 20, 20 riding on the line. It's not always what they're going to do right. Lead up to five for the Bulldogs, the number one seed against the seven seed ETSU. Struthers into the lane, triple teamed, and he got fouled. And he'll hit the line and shoot. First one spins out for the one of tournament set back in 1984. Jones, that's a three. And a whistle. Uh, foul away from the from the ball. Robin Jones it. Front end the one and one mix point two points per game this year. Led the SoCon and fourth of the nation coming into the tournament here this week. Here's Jones inside. Shot rejected by Boyd out of bounds off of Boyd. Stays with Sam. Played by Marshall against Boyd. Nice move. Banks it in. He wasn't going to be denied. Got a feeling he's the man down the stretch for the Bulldogs. Lead is seven, a three possession lead here for Sanford as we approach two minutes to go in the championship game. Winner of this one goes to the lip dance. Later this month, Asamoah thought about the three. Seymour, step back three. Was partially blocked, maybe, maybe not. It's saved into the hands of Boyd. He finds Seymour covered on the shot. He's fouled in the head of the line and shoot two. Boy, what a heads up play. Time combined. And there's a free throw out of a championship game. 18 missed free throws combined in the game as Seymour gets one of two. Seymour with seven points and the lead is down to five. Two possession game. 145 to go in the game. Bucks their defense. It can't fail them right now. Here's Campbell. And had the ball knocked away, and it's out of bounds off of a chore. Turnover on Sanford. Number 13 of the game, and it goes back to ETSU in the second half. Forced overtime, one by one in OT. Now it's down five, under 90 seconds to go in the championship game. Here's Asamoa. Step back two, leaves it short, and the rebound is out of bounds off of Sanford. It stays with ETSU. For the shot. Obviously, Asamoa is your first option if you can find him. Marshall and Asamoa and State McCray on Seymour. Those are your two best defenders. Peterson gets inside, feeds it underneath the Boyd. A lot of contact, no call. Now they fouled Marshall on the rebound. Marshall got fouled. And they go back the other way. He is five for nine in the game so far. I think it's Johnson. He can shoot it with the best of them. Now he hasn't played. Tough coming off the bench in this environment this late in the game, but. Trust me, if he catches it, he'll let it go. It is a three possession lead here for Sanford. 52 seconds to go. Struthers, here's Peterson, driving to the basket, goes inside, shot rejected, and they call goaltending. Goaltending on a shore. It's close. Certainly looked. I think it was, I think it was a clean block. Yeah. It's night in it. Full court pressure put on by the Buccaneers. They get it into Marshall's hands. He's trapped, and they get a steal by Asamoah. Puts it up, no, but he got fouled. And he'll head of the line and shoot two. A chance to cut it down to a one possession. Tonight, and that doing part has helped keep the Bucks in. Lead here for Sanford. You can be assured if it goes through the hoop, you're going to see pressure. They face it every day against each other, Sanford that is. So it's not as good to four. Here's Campbell sprinting across the timeline, drawing defenders and reaching foul. It's on Boyd and he's fouled out of the game. This is calmness. First one is missed. He's normally an 80 year from three, second best in the league. And he makes one of two. 
Lead is five again for Sanford. Under 40 seconds to go. Here comes ETSU. Peterson, that's a three. Left it short. Fight for the rebound. People diving for it, and it's a jump ball. The arrow stays with East Tennessee State. Four here quickly. 17 to shoot, 26 in the game clock. Catch and shoot three by Asamoa. Too strong. Fight for the rebound. Marshall has it for Sanford. And now they foul Marshall. Asamoa fouls him his third. 22 points for Marshall and still stuck on 22. First free throw miss. One of two. One of two for Marshall. If you're Sanford, you just don't want to foul. Down two possessions. Peterson gets to the rack, and he got fouled, almost made the shot. He'll head to the line, he'll shoot. Peterson at the line, 73% free throw shooter, and the fourth shot to make it a five-point deficit, and uh, spins out on him. Five for the rebound, Seymour got it back. 12 seconds to go, and he got fouled. He got fouled by A.J. State McCray. That's his spin just a little bit. <laughs> Missed them both. Campbell, he's fouled by Seymour. Seymour's... They absolutely set the tone of what's going to become ETSU. He's just very effective, very much a team guy. Peterson, one more shot for three. No, rebound by Marshall. Runs up the clock, and that will do it. And for the first time since 2000, the Sanford Bulldogs... It's only the third trip to the big dance in program history, 1999, 2000, and now 2024. The Sanford Bulldogs have done it, and they're going 